Hello grade 7s, this video has been made for you to better understand tectonic plates and how they influence the formation of volcanoes and earthquakes. So the first thing we're going to look at is what are tectonic plates? The earth's crust is divided into a number of large slabs which scientists call tectonic plates. A tectonic plate is a giant section of the earth's crust. They float on the liquid mantle underneath earth's crust. Some plates are mostly ocean Others are mostly land, and others have both land and ocean on them. The map above shows the positions of the tectonic plates. Here you can see how some plates are mostly ocean, how some plates are mostly land, and how some plates are mostly both ocean and land. Plate movement. Tectonic plates move very slowly along the edges. These edges are called the plate margins, or otherwise known as the plate boundaries. Tectonic plates move at about the same speed as your fingernail grows. That's almost 3 centimeters a year. Very cool, right? Convection currents. Scientists think that heat from the Earth's core causes circular movement in the mantle called convection currents. Scientists believe that convection currents in the mantle slowly move the plates that float on top of the mantle. They are being dragged apart by forces deep inside the earth. In the first picture, think of it like a pot of boiling water. The earth's core is the stovetop burner. The mantle is the boiling water. As the water near the burner heats up, it becomes less dense and rises. When it gets to the top, it cools off and becomes denser and sinks down towards the heat. These are called convection currents. A similar process is driving the mantle and is taking the plates along for a ride. That movement is called plate tectonics. The following process is a step-by-step -step process I'll read with you. Heat from the Earth's core creates convection currents. Close to the Earth's surface, the liquid mantle cools down. So you can see it's basically a similar process um, like the picture on the top left um, as a pot of boiling water. Number three, the cooler materials begin to sink back into the lower parts of the mantle. And number four, the circular movement in the mantle is a kind of current that moves the plates that float on top of the mantle. There are three types of plate margins or boundaries that we'll refer to today. The first one is called divergent plate boundary. The second one, a transform plate boundary. And the third one, convergent plate boundary. We are also going to see how each of these influences either a volcano or an earthquake. Active volcanoes are volcanoes that are known to have erupted. Most of these volcanoes occur in areas close to the plate margins or boundaries. When Earth's crust moves, it disturbs the mantle and the crust, which results in a volcano or an earthquake. Why do these occur? The first reason is a divergent plate boundary takes place. This means that tectonic plates move apart. The second reason is a convergent plate boundary. By tectonic plates either colliding or you can call it converging. In a divergent plate boundary, the volcanoes form at places where the tectonic plates are moving apart from one another. You can see as indicated by the following arrows. In a convergent plate boundary process, there are a few things that take place. The first one is that plates collide into one another on top of the boiling mantle. One tectonic plate slide under one another, it begins to melt back into the mantle. The melting plate moves upwards and finally some of the melting plate works its way through the earth's crust and erupts as a volcano. Earthquakes happen along plate boundaries in the same areas as volcanoes. Like volcanoes, earthquakes happen along the margins of tectonic plates. Earth's plates move unevenly. Let's look at the process. Earth's plates move slowly and grind against each other. The second part of the process, it creates a shock wave that vibrates through the Earth's crust. And the third part of the process, shock waves cause the ground to shake. Earth's crust is weakest at the places where the tectonic plates meet. Convection currents in the magma causes pressure to build up at the plate margins. The first part is that plates move slowly and grind against each other, creating shock waves that vibrate through the Earth's crust, especially in the lines of weakness 
in the Earth's crust called vaults. A vault is a crack or a weak point found in the Earth's crust. These are just a few of the effects of the earthquakes on buildings, land masses and bridges. Here you can see a building that has collapsed due to an earthquake. Here you can see that a bridge has been collapsed. Unfortunately, the construction workers just have to redo the bridge. Um, here you can see how an entire neighborhood has basically just collapsed due to an earthquake. And fourthly, we can see a line of weakness in the Earth's crust called faults. Earthquakes happen along these faults. These are just a few of the effects. Um, obviously, there are way more effects if you just want to look it up on YouTube or other sources of media. But yeah, thank you for listening, Great 7s. Have a great week further.